Good evening, everyone. My name's Jeff, and it's an honour to stand here as Brian's best man, and also witness the commitment, love, support, and understanding that he and Melinda have given to each other here today. I've known Brian for about 13 years. We met as prison officers at uh, Mullawa. Brian's still a prison officer, and he forms part of the hostage response group as a negotiator. <laughs> so Brian, marry your uh, beautiful bride, Linda, on the golf course. Uh, must have taken some of your best negotiation skills. <laughs> um, you see, Brian's the only mate I know who was married on a golf course, but I do have a few mates who were divorced because of the golf course. <laughs> And I do know, however, that this is not the first uh, venue of choice as both Parramatta Stadium and the SCG were booked out. <laughs> Reminds me of organising my own wedding venue. I rang every brewery in the country, but no luck. As per usual, the missus got her way and we were married in Ikea. <laughs> but our marriage has stood the test of time unlike our Swedish furniture. And I suppose I should be thankful I wasn't married in the reject shop. <laughs> but mate, it's great to see you happy. It wasn't always uh, this way. And those close to Brian know that he's had his fair share of ups and downs. I remember receiving a phone call from him about three or four months ago. And someone got the hour. Brian was very upset and I was trying to lift his spirits. But the com as the conversation went on, he began to cry. This is the f third phone call of this nature in less than a week. And I thought, enough's enough. This has to stop. I said, mate, be strong, pull yourself together, because Parramatta were never going to win the grand final. <laughs> Which brings me to talk about an earlier grand final in 2001 between uh, his beloved Eels and my team, the Newcastle Knights. We were having the uh, traditional grand final barbecue at Brian's house, which was like most barbecues at Brian's. And after downing 20 odd beers, half a dozen sausage sandwiches, and a couple of bottles of red wine, it was time for the kickoff. <laughs> Sensationally, Newcastle won the game. Someone foolishly suggested we drive to um, Newcastle home ground to celebrate. So I think we got a lift with someone who was either sober or too drunk to care, and we arrived at the ground. One problem: Brian was still kitted out in his Parramatta gear, jersey and all. But to his credit, he entered the ground to the boos and insults from some of the thousands of Newcastle fans. And understandably, Brian reacted and there was an incident. <laughs> Weeks later, the people of Parramatta said he was a local hero. The people of Newcastle said he was a lunatic. The magistrate said he was a hooligan and his barrister said he was lucky, very lucky. But that's all in the past, and they say you learn from your mistakes. And what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Brian is as strong as 10 Bulgarian weightlifters. <laughs> I might ease up on Brian for a while. He's a great mate, and we all know he loves his sport, and I'm hoping for my own safety tonight, he's a good sport. Seriously, though, see, he's landed on his feet with Belinda by his side. She's a pocket rocket, he's great fun to be around. I'm so, sure she wakes up in the morning and pours a can of Red Bull on a wheat mix. <laughs> and considerable preparation goes in just turning up looking the best for your wedding. I guess you've got the last minute waxing, the exfoliating body scrub in the shower, the perfume, the hair, the makeup. I'm like, hurry up, Ryan, you're going to be late for your wedding. <laughs> Seriously though, Brian, you're a very lucky guy. Sorry, I'm shaking here. Am I going all right? <laughs> you're a very lucky guy to have met someone as intelligent and beautiful as Belinda. 
And I know you all agree that she's perfectly complimented by the gorgeous bridesmaids, Rebecca and Belinda. Yeah. And on behalf of Brian, and especially Belinda, I'd like to acknowledge your support and efforts in helping to create such a special day. So please join Brian and Belinda as we toast the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. Yeah, we finished. I suppose we can't finish without sharing a story about the Bucks night. We started drinking at Penrith Panthers at lunchtime. Some of Brian's workmates were taking bets on when he would be passed out in bed. Popular time amongst them was about 9pm as they set about loading him up with cocktails and more beers. But I've known Brian for longer than them. And I know that if, if he was a racehorse, he'd be a stayer. <laughs> so I confidently bet last drinks or about 5am. Brian doesn't know this, but around midnight as the music was pumping, I was approached by a bouncer who pointed Brian out to me and said, your mate has to go. He's had too much to drink and is unsteady on his feet. But I assured the bouncer that that was just the way Brian dances. <laughs> So he got to stay and I won the bet. <laughs> well, that's it for me. I find all this drinking, uh, talking is getting in the way of my drinking. <laughs> and I've got this issue with my throat. Brian threatened to cut it if I went on and on. <laughs> <laughs> So I just want to say from the heart, I'm proud you chose me as your best man. You're a great mate and our good times are far outweigh the bad. I look forward to continuing a strong friendship as you move forward with Belinda and Rourke and experience all the love, happiness and success you all deserve. Thank you.